Hello people and welcome to yet another video. Uh, we'll be moving a bit away from web development and concentrating on some Python projects today. Uh, three of them to be precise. The first one is extracting files from a zip file or a zip folder. Second one would be a simple password generator. And the final one would be converting a text file to JSON file. And all these are simple. So uh, maximum 10 lines of code. So you can usually finish all these three with, uh, within 15 minutes. And uh, I'll be using Atom Text Editor with Platform Your IDE Terminal. If you have followed my channel, you know uh, how to download all this. And if you if you don't know how to download Platform Your IDE and how to set up Atom for Python, programming i'll leave a video description which uh, like one of my videos where i have uh, taken you through a step-by-step -step process uh, procedure towards how to download this so um, i'm currently using i guess yeah i'm currently using python 3.8.2 which is the latest version and uh atom yeah atom text editor everything is there in that video so please go uh, watch that one set up your item id and come back to this one if you want to so let's continue right so the first one is extracting files from a zip file or zip folder so first of all what i'm going to do is i'll add a project folder i already have a project folder called as pi projects if you haven't uh, go ahead and create any folder of your choice and select that folder and open it over here uh, as you can see i have previous projects updated over here and uh, what i'm going to do is i'll go to my platform your id terminal change the color because I like using it and I'll create a directory over here and I'll call it winrar because why not so uh, a folder is created over here I'll cd into my winrar folder and over here I'll I'll for now I'll just uh, minimize my terminal for a while and then come back to this inside winrar I'll open a new file we'll call it rar.zip sorry rar.py it's not rar.zip so inside winrar you have this file called as rar.py let me quickly increase the size so you can see it properly so first thing what you're going to do is you'll import zip file which is inside zip file so from zip file import zip file and this zip file is capitalized so uh, z and f are capitalized over here and z and f are not capitalized over here so make sure you do that and if you get any errors such as zip file module not found just go to your command prompt and type in pip install zip file so that the module will be downloaded i'm not doing it because uh, i mean i want to make this video short and these are just simple things which i have explained in the previous video also so then we'll uh, create a variable called as path and we'll give it a give it our file name so before doing that i'll go to my file explorer and i have to make a rar file let's say i have to you have a rar file with all these files but you don't have your uh, winrar or any other things in uh, installed so i'm going to copy this rar file and make sure uh, you know you put the put the rar file in the same folder as your uh, rar project file or python file so that you don't need to give complex uh, you know path over here so i'm just going to call it test.zip and i'll put it over here that will be my path and the next line would be using the with keyword so with zip file i'll given the path over here the variable path with and this will open it in read mode and i'll just call i mean i don't want to uh, type in zip file over over again so i'll just rename it as z for now and then i'll call in z ring directory as you can see atom is already helping me to uh, you know it is giving me suggestions of what all i can do with this that always comes inside zip file and i'm using kite so i'll 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 do another video on why you need kite with uh, item text editor 
the second thing I'll need is extract all which will extract everything so this will print the directory and this will extract all the files inside there so that's all with the code it is a seven line code and if you remove the indentations it becomes a five line code so go ahead and save that so I'll bring back my ID terminal and I'll inside my winrar I have rar.py so I'll open that python rar.py hit enter and as you can see all my files has been extracted and here also you can see all my all your files has been extracted if you really want to see this you can go ahead and go to your uh, project folder so py projects inside winrar and there you all your folder uh, or file that you just extra uh, converted into zip file are over here now you will ask that you already have winrar and other stuff so why do you actually need this so if you see uh, let me quickly show you so the rar file if i go to the properties it is about 117 bytes but compared to your winrar and other stuff it is really really low space so if you're running out of space you can just uninstall your winrar and start using this again so next one will be password generator okay so password generator is another five line code so um i'm not going to do it inside winrar because it is already clustered so i'll come back to my main project i'll create a new file let's just call it pass.py we'll name it simple and will import random so again if you have any errors after running the project which says random module not found go ahead uh, to your command line that is cmd and type in pip install random or conda install random if you have anaconda installed that will install your uh, random module now uh, we have to create a variable let's call it characters and here we need to give the characters from which the random is going to pick uh, the characters for your password so i mean i'm not going to type it i have already commented out over here in my previous uh, project and i'll paste it over here so basically what um, if i zoom out a little bit uh, i hope you can see it has a small or lower caps english alphabets upper caps english alphabets number from one to nine and all the special characters that a password needs. Now, uh, for this special characters, you can keep it or you can leave it out. Uh, I'll show you in a while why I'm saying that because uh, it really gives you some weird passwords, which it is a real, I mean, you don't need to remember it, but again, it just uglifies your password, if that makes sense. Then you're gonna give another variable length for, you can give it 20 or 10 or whatever, but I'll just give it 8 for now because or 9 for now because most of them ask 8, 9 and plus. So I'll then I'll create the main password that is pass w or yeah pass w is good. Then we'll give quotes and we'll join our random module with sample which is one of the modules that is inside random or one of the packages that is inside random and inside here we're going to give both of our variables that is care as well as len and that's all this is the only logic that you will require and then of course you want to print your password i'll just in order to make it look better generated password is and then you can close the semicolon over here put in a comma save that and again bring back your terminal cd back to your pi projects where did it go there it is okay so python pass dot pi is your file name if you hit enter it'll suggest your password and now if i I mean, you can go ahead and uh, do it many times, but as you can see, there are so many special characters and less of your 
uh, alphabets. So what I like to do is I like to keep few of them and remove most of them. So I'll keep it till the start. I'll remove the other things. I'll save that and let me rerun it. There you go. It gives you uh, good passwords. Uh, I mean, you can give any length if you want. Let me give him 20 and see. I'll save that. There you go. It suggests you another password. So that is a simple password generator. So yeah, hopefully you try that. And the next one would be converting a text file to JSON file. Okay, for this project, you'll need two files. That is, one is your Python file, of course, and another one will be your uh, test file or txt file. So let me quickly delete the previous JSON file, which I was trying before recording this. So first up, go create your test.txt file. I mean, you can name it anything, but I'll name it test and put in some details so you can put in anything but i'll give who i'll give my name i'll give what i'll give youtuber and i'll give what else which will have full stack developer and it's k no t full start developer and i'll say why because i love it okay so make sure that as you can see i have not given any spaces over here so make sure you and you don't because when you convert it to json it will just take it as key value key value so you know it is a dictionary and the key value pace will be deferred so what else will have the value of full then stack will become a key and developer will be a value so make sure you don't do that and that's it for now i'll save the test file then i'll open a new file we'll just call it jsonc.py that stands for json create.py then you need to of course import json again if it says json module not found go ahead and download it that is pip install json or conda install json then you'll create a variable called as file which will have your test.txt make sure you your test.txt file is in the same folder as your json file so that you don't need to give uh, you know weird uh, paths over there then we'll create a dictionary <clears throat> sorry for that i'll call it jsd i'll be empty for now as will be i mean after the for loop will be uh, appending stuffs inside this and then we'll call the width keyword that will be width open our file not dial file that is our uh, variable over here and we'll open it in uh, sorry not now so as we'll rename it as f because i don't want to use the file tensions over and over again so then we'll create a for loop for line in f i mean you can rename it anything i'll just give it line for now so for line in our file every line in our file will have command and description i'll just give it com and des for now because i don't want to make uh, you know big variables you understand what i mean anyways so that will have line dot strip as a function dot split sorry for that split as function and split will have none comma one so if you have gone through uh, python's string handling functions you know what split and strip does so basically it will split this as a key and this as a value then again this as a key and this as a value so basically it will convert your test file with spaces into key value pairs so make sure you make your test file uh, like that and then you'll call your uh, yeah th so the next thing would be to go append your dictionary so you'll use com that will become your key and with description you're gonna strip it and yeah this will uh, put in the values inside your JSD dictionary so the ne make sure you uh, put in conditions over here after with and after for and then the final i'll i'll create a keyword called as final and that will be intended straight down the width then you'll open your json file 
test.json and make sure your uh, the first name would be the same first name as your test.txt file sorry for that and you'll open that in write mode make sure you open it in write mode and then in read mode once you want to if you want to read it directly from your terminal and then you'll of course you'll have to do json.dump with your dictionary and your final keyword then you will give intent indent sorry indent which will be um you can give anyways anything like four or six but uh, i'll just give the default value of four and then you there is this is a really important thing you need to sort keys equals to false so again this line as well as this line will be important make sure you do that properly with the indentations and finally you're going to close your final final dot close again if you want to you can give a uh, final open text sorry dot json in read read mode and then you know you can directly read it from a terminal but i'm not going to do that so what i'm going to do is uh, python js jsomc dot py let's run it i mean nothing happened in the terminal but if you look over here you have test.json file with the same thing that i gave it over here so if i split left i'll close this as you can see you have json file with four in ten and your test over here so that's it with the video for today guys hopefully you liked it hopefully everyone is going to try it in the quarantine right now so yeah thank you for watching stay in stay safe happy quarantine and make sure you subscribe